Good morning, basket makers. How you doing? Okay, y'all. So, you see the destruction. This is my former living and dining. Let me, I'm going to turn you around so you can see. Now, it, I know, I know, I know, it looks like a lot, but it is not. We we made them coins, I promise you, we did. Because uh, we offer so much more than just the baskets. We have the rose berries, we have the plush berries, we have the fresh roses, we have the cars, we have burning bags, we have burning box. So, for me, because now I have added more to my, what do you call it, to my program, it does, it does, don't get me wrong, take away from some of my big gifts sometimes. See, each year, because I still follow that pretty much the same program, some years is absolutely no big gifts left on the cart. And then some years I have more big because I was selling more big bears this year. So it was a catch 22. But I know it's not a negative because all of this is going to just transition into the next holiday. So don't be discouraged if you come home with more product than you um, anticipated because we have Mother's Day coming up. And even for the some of the basket makers that do Easter, though they can sell men for some, you know, they will give Easter something, Easter baskets to their wives as well as their kids. So you can put some of these, especially the ones that have like the pastel robes and the pastel colors. Perfect. But red is some people just favorite color, baby, and you cannot you can't go wrong. Like all of the, the, we saw one purse on the Bath and Body Works size with the bears. Now, all of these, I'm going to take the chocolates out. I showed you in a video before what was left over. Uh, how I'm going to take the little, um, the little third piece of the purse and I'm going to put it in the same spot as that chocolate is. And we're going to call it one and done. If I put anything else, which I don't think I will, because you got to remember, those purses is three pieces all together. And then you have a coin purse. So that coin purse is going to go on the back. So, yeah, I have the blue as well. Right now, what I'm doing is sorting. And then, like right there, I already started on all my main gifts. So those can come off the floor, go down to the basement, and be stored and ready for father's day uh and then i remove all the stuff that i didn't use that was father's day i will move that all down kids i'm gonna slowly turn around y'all uh kids i started with those that's boy toys i do a box for girl toys and then i do a box for kids uh babies um so then those three boxes will go on downstairs and then all of this other is small gifts. I started right here. Those I'm getting together because then that way, those gifts is already made. None of those have candy in them, so I don't have to worry about that. And then those are going to go on down because we basically have two months. So I start, I like to get all my men first, my kids first. So as I'm staging across that wall, all men's will be together, all kids will be together, and then 90% of the rest is all women. So that'll go down, and I already know that that one is there. So now we're going to walk into the former dining room. Girl, don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. So we had more of these left over than we usually do. Um, my mother-in-law said it's because we got them up too late. And that may probably be too true. Plus, um, the, the most active walkway is where we should have had them. Uh, over there where it was should have been in between the plush and the 
balloons and all of that area. I should have kind of flipped sides. Hindsight 2020. So, but see, all of these, y'all, all of these are going to location. Coming right back up to the mall. Some of these, all they have is XOXO. Some have like uh, Victoria's Secret house shoes in them. Uh, some of these have the bear with the lotion, some with the perfumes, and we have some with like the bubble baths. Y'all seen all of those. So all of that will get just move, be ready for the next one. All of these I have a Mother's Day balloon attached to them. Some have, they have the fragrance, they have the lotion, and they have the bubble bath. And we're going to just run it one and done. Oh, and then like the big ones right here, I have four of those left. Well, actually five. One, somebody messed up the box. I don't know what they did. But um, I have one, two, three, four, five of those. And I have like the two-piece set with the Mother's Day balloon attached to that. So, see, it. I may have made more than needed. And you don't know how much more is needed. But a lot of this moves just to the next holiday. And is, you know, it just keep rotating. Hearts are forever. They do not. And I repeat, y'all, look at that. Horrible. I messed up my rug over here, but we're okay. And so this is how my table look. Yeah, cray cray. Remember I told you that idea never did. When I tell you never made it, <laughs> never made it. Because I never could get to... Um, I never did get to find the mittens. I didn't have time. I was in the mall open to close. So a lot of things that didn't, I couldn't get out to find the other piece, didn't get completed. So see these, because they're in a blue box, take it to go, they're going to be ready for Mother's Day. Uh, these heart pails, I do use my heart pails. I will be going out within the next couple of days to Dollar Tree on the search, on the hunt for the spring boxes because that's what I use for my Mother's Day, the spring floral boxes. They're going to have at least maybe seven to ten different kinds. I get every last one so I can stop preparing my inexpensive gift for Mother's Day. Now, mind you, like these body scrubs, I did make four. I have one that came back, but all six of the Dollar Tree ones got sold. Every last one of them. These pails, I never did make the two more pieces for the women's Bath and Body Works side. But I was okay. We sold out of those, what we did have over there. So, it is a little some stuff excessive. These little beer mugs, see, they're going to be ready for Father's Day. I had brought up that because I had an idea I was going to do with that. I had some of these lights, camera action, because I was going to make like um a men's movie night uh concept never did get to that that that's me and robes never did get to that so i'm not gonna worry about it those things is just gonna get put up see i'm gonna do like a popcorn dad night with that i did not like the red tissue i didn't have uh i didn't have time to get out to my store to get me some dark blue or raw blue tissue but i'm okay again that stuff is going to transition these i had from the previous previous years y'all i'm showing y'all all my mess okay because this is real life this is baskets make basket making at its finest but <laughs> Baby, I have a lot of stuff that I need to put away. And so this is my opportunity. Now I'm going to purge out what I don't need. All of that, me and stuff. That's some of these. These are money makers at Mother's Day. So if you come across these in Dollar Tree, because this is where they come from, pick you up some that come in pink, blue, and green. Okay. Uh, I'm continuing showing you my mess. I got more me and stuff right here. I got some goodwill little things there. And I I do a video on what I thrift at the Goodwill, besides the things that I want for myself. But things like I most definitely go to Goodwill for my vases, for flower, my candy bouquets that you see me do. Those come from Goodwill. So 
I take you with me on one of those as we're prepping to get ready for Mother's Day. That was more of those accents. Um, these three, they do dove. Those, those, um, that is those, um, what you call them, uh, Chinese boxes that from Dollar Tree. It's either two in a pack or three in a pack. So you, uh, you'll see me do those for Mother's Day because I do the pink dove. Um, this was some sleep drink party repeat. Never did get to make those up. All I'm going to do is probably put a cider with it. And these I might add to like a pink robe or gray robe or something and put a little cider with it. Because, baby, even moms, we got to have our aftercare, okay? Okay. So, this, again, is my hot mess. Baby, still got Christmas trees over there. This is hot mess 101. This is like some of the boxes of some of the stuff. This is what I was going to do those coach purses on, but I ended up dropping them in those boxes over there. We saw every last one of those. Uh, let's see. These, if y'all come across these, these were from Walgreens. They are the blackjack tables. I got a better idea. This, I'm going to use it Father's Day because with some of my Father's Day gifts, I like to do like games like checkers, um, chess, all those kind of things because, you know, men like that kind of little stuff. I, well, I hope they do. But this goes in my men stuff. So, again, I'm going to be working on all of this for the next probably week. Um, really sorting and putting stuff back the right way. So that way, when I move into the, to start getting ready for this next holiday, I do. Y'all, I went through all this wrapping paper. So I'm going to go. Now I know I need about two boxes. And I actually need two and a half. So I probably need three boxes. I'm going to pick me up three. So they are ready to go for... Mother's Day, Mother's Day. And even if I have some left over, I'm fine with that because I got Father's Day right behind that. So, yeah, y'all, that's this. That, that's that's it. That's all. You know, that's my favorite words to say. That's it. That's all. I'm just showing you my leftover stash. And, baby, I'm not even showing you what's in my kitchen. Uh, all of our shelves and stuff. And I think I have a little men's back there, but I'm pretty much pull everything to the front so I can get it all sorted and put away because it is now time to get things moved and out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I hope this has helped someone who, you know, feel like they didn't do the best that they could and know that, yeah, hey, I wanted to sell out too. Don't get me wrong, but I'm thankful for what I did make because I could have made nothing. Okay, that's what you got to remember. You could have made nothing. So I'm grateful for something. I'm grateful for the things that he has provided for me. I am thankful for being able to share what I can with you guys so you too can get out here and make these dollars. You could. You know, whatever. I learn something new every day. I promise you I do. I watch uh, uh, all the different YouTubers as well. And I learn something from each and every one of them. Because we all don't do it the same way. And because of that, that's how you pick up tips and tricks. On how to be flexible with what you're doing in your area. But also learning your area. Okay, that is the most important is learning your area and what works in your demographic group. But I always say this too, you got to try it. You don't know, don't count nobody else's dollars. You got to try it to see if it even works there. Because see, if you don't do it, you'll never know. So that's what I do. I push the envelope to see how, how far I can get. That's it. That's all, y'all. And I will see you in the next. Thanks. Bye-bye.